Another special event is right around the corner, Veterans Day, where we thank and remember all the veterans who served and also who are currently serving in our armed forces, who are defending our great country. These flags are do were donated by families, veterans, and veteran groups. These flags will represent current and future memorials of the park. These flags will most mostly importantly represent the men and women who poured their blood, sweat, tears, hopes, and dreams to defend our way of life. And most certainly, we will never forget the men and women who gave the ultimate sacrifice. And I want to say thank you to the flag, the flag donors. I want to say thank you to Mark and Lori Privet for donating the American flag, the veteran, Vietnam era veterans of the cross for doing, donating the POW flag, by the VFW, the, the, the Army flag, uh, fa the families of Cromley, Lee, Baldwin, Gunther, and Linvig, thank you. Richard Boland, who donated the Marine flag, thank you. And then the Lions Club for the Navy, the Eagles of La Crosse for the Air Force, and thank you to District 7 of Wisconsin, Ar American Legion Riders. And also thank you to Chris Boltick, who donated his time for all the electrical work for the American flag and also to the park. And I want to say thank you for everyone for coming to this special event. And these flags will again represent the current memorials and also the future memorials. And you know, as we go forward, I know everyone is having time with hard times with shipping issues and I hope everything runs smoothly because you know I am very excited to announce the center stone and the wall with the killed in action will be in the United States at the end of November early part of December uh, I do have pictures so if you want to stay around I'd be gladly to show you them and thank you again for all the donors the community Fort McCoy and Kennel Stump uh, and God bless our veterans, and God bless our troops, and God bless America.